Hi, my name is Beck and I like plants and today I'm going to be updating you guys on my progress in Star Trek Fleet Command. I don't have a ton of news to share, however the things that I'm sharing are on the bigger side. So if you want to see what's going on or judge me for where I'm at, stay tuned. We're going to talk about some Star Trek Fleet Command. I wanted to just briefly pop in here and let you guys know where I'm at as well as just address a couple of things. Um, first off, just want to say thank you guys for all the feedback on the last couple of videos. I feel like every time I put one out, I get really nervous and I'm, I'm shown time and time again that you guys are just going to be nice to me for the most part and nobody's going to totally rip me to shreds, but who knows? You never know. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, you see, I have a couple things above on the top of my menu here. I haven't played in about 24 hours simply just because I actually went on a trip down to the beach and I didn't have a ton of service, so I wasn't able to play. I popped up a couple shields and just let some of my research and buildings go while I was gone. So I'm sure you're noticing the two green things on my screen and those are obviously this big one here and this big one here. While I hit the green button here on my op station, bringing me up to 27, so I've had a few comments about me moving too quickly in my ops level and all of that stuff. And I totally understand where those comments are coming from because in a lot of ways, yes, I'm moving very fast. However, I wanted to put out a couple things. Number one, I am not planning to continue to move at this rate. The reason I've moved this quickly thus far is because I had an extra builder and I had an extra researcher. And so I was getting kind of, I, I mentioned this a couple videos ago, but I feel like I should reiterate. I got sort of blocked out of some things with progressing because of the levels. And so I felt like I needed to move. So me moving to 27, that little plan is for me to stay there for quite a while. Stay here and get re-caught up, which I was already caught up for this. So that's why I went ahead and did it. Most of my research is caught up. I'm, I'm still working on some territory research and things like that, just because obviously like I started to be able to get the, the materials that I, I need. Uh, so I'm working on that stuff right now. The spot that I'm lacking in, obviously the most is going to be my officers, but I'm, I'm actually getting to like a good spot with them. But I wanted to put that out there because I've received some comments about how quickly I'm moving. And I just wanted to assure you guys that I'm not planning on like just skipping everything and missing all the in-between stuff. At the same time, I'm also not planning I'm playing perfectly. I've mentioned this a few times in my live streams, but I'll mention it here. As much as like I rely so much on help and advice and stories and everything from people, I still want to play the game for me and still want to do my own learning experiences. I feel like if my hand is held the entire time, then I'm not playing for me, I'm playing for other people. So there are some things that I'm going to do that people are gonna be like, well, that's stupid. You should wait and do this until ops, whatever, or until you get here. And I get that. But at the end of the day, if I were playing this game at the same time as other people, whenever it first came out, I wouldn't have had all this help that I'm having right now. And so I want to still experience the game in my own way, if that makes sense. For me, the like where I'm going, this all made sense to me. So I hit that button. For Ops 27, not because I'm thinking like I'm going to be so powerful or anything like that. My dailies do not increase by me going to Ops 27. I wanted to give that little disclaimer of I'm not going to be perfect. I'm really not going to be. The other main big thing that I have here is going to be this baby right here that I'm going to let play on the screen because why not? It's pretty. This is going to help me so much during events. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Did you guys ever think that you're gonna have two ships being built and shown on my channel within a week of each other? If not, I'm with you. If not, I'm with you. And the reason I'm also with you is because this wouldn't have happened had the battle pass not been a thing, because that's, that's how I was able to get this. Now that I have that Meridian, really what I'm looking for looking forward to and working on is obviously getting now caught up all over again with all of my buildings because I was already but now I'm not running armadas that's gonna be my big thing now my main heavy focus is gonna be armadas for the next several weeks getting caught up so that way I can upgrade my control center here in terms of research I mean I've been working on research for a while obviously it never stops but uh, just really like getting to it like a good spot I'll show you guys here. I've been slowly working on territory stuff. I'm still working on getting the materials that I need. I've been doing my pulls that I need to do once they started becoming available. I was able to start pulling them. So that's what I'm working on with these. And then, of course, the other thing that I'm working on um, are my officers getting like doing my pulls during events as well as getting them leveled up and whatnot. I took a pause of doing those sorts of things just because I was trying to time them out with the events and whatnot, and then I went out of town. So, I mean, that is what it is. But that's what I'm doing there. So I'm only two shards away from unlocking Moreau. I really don't have, like, a ton to share outside of the two big things. The other things are, I mean, I've mentioned this in the past couple videos. I have been using my Vidar a lot. Been using it for a ton of stuff, so I've been working on getting the stuff to really level this baby out. I've been using it for ugh, so many things around the clock. I have been working on my Devor and leveling it up. I cannot tell you how exciting it is to actually be able to mine platinum at the rate that I'm mining it. Being able to refine all of that, like that's been amazing. I did want to share that I am still loving the game. Um, if my demeanor like, seems very different right now, to be honest, I'm filming this really late at night because I was gone on vacation and I mentioned in my last video that I would be releasing a video on Thursday and let's just say that I, uh, I had a really great stream last night and I stayed up later than I should have and so I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired, but I still, like, I truly mean it. I'm enjoying my time playing the game, especially now that I can kind of keep up a little bit better. For kicks, I'll show you guys my factions. Just ignore her. the lack of uh, tokens right now. I actually just spent all of them. <laughs> but we're doing really, really well in terms of where we're at with our faction, faction grinding. I've had a lot of comments ask me about faction grinding, if I know what it is, my plans or whatnot. I've mentioned it in a few videos, but if I have people that have been tuning into the newer videos, I haven't really been mentioning it in there. So I just wanted to take that moment to let you guys know I've been dual faction grinding both Federation and Romulan. I'm going to be building a couple of faction ships. I know a lot of people tell me to skip level 26 faction ships. Totally get that and I get the reasoning. I do still want to do it to have them. If it means I'm camping a little longer to catch up and do things, that's totally fine. I really don't mind. Cause for me, the same like thing about like, hey Beck, slow down, don't go too quickly. I'm viewing it in that same lens. Like I'm going at a specific pace. And so there are some things that probably look like they're going really fast, but there are other things that look like I'm not doing it fast enough. These things all fall into that category. A little bit behind on my battle pass from taking time off. I still think I have time to get it finished. I'm like three away. Just a reminder, I do play Star Trek Fleet Command on Saturdays on my stream over on Twitch. The first half of the stream, I do some sort of community event. And then the second half of the stream, I do some Star Trek Fleet Command. Everybody kind of helped me through it a little bit. I ask all my questions. You guys give me your input and your advice. You can tell me how terrible I am right on the spot. And it's great. It's a good time. It's awesome. And I eat a lot of cookies unrelated but also semi-related. I knew that this video wasn't gonna have a ton in it but I still wanted to get something out there and let you guys know some of the things I've been working on. Really just wanted to talk about you know getting the Meridian, hitting Ops 27 even though 
several people probably hate that. Plan is hang out at 27 for a bit and just overall be bigger, stronger, better, all the things. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Of course, as always, hit the like button, hit the sub button if you haven't already. Definitely leave me a comment. If you're one of those people that likes to give me a hard time for moving so quickly, I'm sorry. I really have nothing else to say besides like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm cruising, moving at my pace and I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. And I feel like as long as I'm having fun, it's okay. You know, it's okay. Got nothing else. So I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video.